Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on transport planning. In our previous video, we discussed the comprehensive steps involved in the planning process, from identifying transportation needs to developing potential solutions. In this video, we'll focus on a critical phase of that process, namely evaluation. Evaluation is the step where we assess different transport options to determine which ones best meet our objectives. We'll delve into three primary evaluation methods. Cost-benefit analysis, or CBA, multi-criteria analysis, or MCA, and socio-economic impact assessment, also known as SEIA. Before diving into each method, it's important to understand why evaluation is vital in the planning process. Evaluation helps us compare alternatives. By systematically assessing options, we can identify which solutions offer the most benefits, allocate resources effectively. It ensures that investments yield the highest possible returns and incorporates stakeholder values. Evaluation considers social, economic and environmental impacts, aligning projects with community needs. Cost-Benefit Analysis, or CBA. What is CBA? Cost-Benefit Analysis is a quantitative method that compares the total expected costs of a project against its total expected benefits, expressed in monetary terms. It's a way to determine whether the benefits outweigh the costs and by how much. How does CBA work? First, identify costs and benefits. List all the costs such as construction and maintenance, and benefits like time savings and reduced accidents. Next, monetize all factors. Assign a monetary value to both tangible and intangible elements, such as environmental effects or time. Then, discount future values. Use a discount rate to calculate the present value of future costs and benefits. Finally, calculate net present value, or NPV, Subtract total discounted costs from total discounted benefits. Advantages of CBA include objective measurement, which provides a clear financial metric, and comparability, allowing for easy comparison between different projects. However, there are limitations. Valuing intangibles can be difficult, as it's challenging to assign monetary values to non-market impacts like social equity. Additionally, CBA doesn't account for distributional effects, meaning it doesn't consider how costs and benefits are distributed across different societal groups. Multi-criteria analysis, or MCA. What is MCA? Multi-criteria analysis is a decision-making tool that evaluates options based on multiple criteria, both quantitative and qualitative. Unlike CBA, MCA doesn't require all factors to be monetized. How does MCA work? First, select criteria. Determine the factors important for evaluation, such as cost, environmental impact, and social acceptance. Next, weight criteria. Assign weights to each criterion based on their relative importance. Then, score alternatives. Rate each option against each criterion. Finally, Aggregate scores. Calculate a weighted sum to identify the most favorable option. Advantages of MCA include flexibility, as it can incorporate a wide range of factors, and inclusivity, allowing for stakeholder input in selecting and weighting criteria. However, MCA also has its limitations. Subjectivity can be an issue as weighting and scoring can be influenced by personal biases. Additionally, complexity can arise, making the process unwieldy with too many criteria or options. Outranking methods in MCA. Within MCA, outranking methods are techniques used to compare options by establishing preference relations rather than relying solely on numerical scores. Key outranking methods are Elector and Prometheum. Elector uses pairwise comparisons 
to determine if one option outranks another based on concordance and discordance indices. Promethe ranks alternatives by calculating positive and negative preference flows. Why use outranking methods? Because outranking methods can handle incomparability, situations where options are incomparable due to conflicting criteria. Furthermore, outranking methods foster transparency. They provide clear reasoning for why one option may be preferred over another. Socioeconomic Impact Assessment What is Socioeconomic Impact Assessment? CIA evaluates the broader social and economic effects of a project on communities. It goes beyond direct costs and benefits to consider indirect and long-term impacts. How does SIA work? The first step involves defining the baseline. It involves analyzing current social and economic conditions. Second is the identification of the impacts. The potential positive and negative effects on employment, income distribution, social cohesion, etc. Third is the assessment of significance, the evaluation of the magnitude and likelihood of these impacts. The last step involves the development of mitigation strategies, measures that enhance the positive impacts and minimize negatives. A first important advantage of SIA is that it provides a comprehensive view. It considers a wide range of social and economic factors. A second advantage is community engagement. Stakeholders are directly involved in the assessment process. SEIA also has limitations. Most of the time, CIA has a large qualitative focus. Relying heavily on qualitative data can be subjective. Furthermore, CIA is resource intensive. It requires significant time and expertise to conduct thoroughly. Integrating evaluation methods. In practice, these evaluation methods are not mutually exclusive. A comprehensive evaluation might involve using CBA to assess economic efficiency, applying MCA to incorporate additional criteria like environmental sustainability and social equity, conducting SEIA to understand broader community impacts. By combining these tools, planners can make more balanced and informed decisions. Evaluation is a pivotal step in the transport planning process. It equips us with the insights needed to select solutions that are not only cost-effective, but also socially and environmentally responsible. CBA provides an economic foundation by quantifying costs and benefits. MCA, with techniques like outranking methods, allows for a nuanced comparison across multiple dimensions. CIA ensures we consider the wider impacts on society and the economy. By employing these methods thoughtfully, we can develop transport systems that meet current needs without compromising future generations. In our next video, we'll explore the components of mobility plans and focus on the SUM, the Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan.